Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well out there. Over a week ago, I put out a video explaining a new feature which is in public beta testing and developer beta testing um, where you can unlock your phone while wearing a mask if you have your watch on and that your watch is unlocked and is that it has a passcode on it and that your watch is also um, on the public beta or developer 7.4.1 and the feature works great um, in the in the first beta 14.5 the first beta it was working really well and users uh, when updating to the second beta now for both the 14.5 beta 2 and watch OS 7.4 beta 2 um, users were saying that um, there's some difficulty getting their uh, phone to unlock when they're trying to wear a mask using it. And um, I know myself and one other user were saying that we were having issues with it. And for me, it wasn't working at all at first. And for them, it works sometimes. So what I, I noticed that um, I went to the setting for unlock with Apple Watch in your phone settings, um, you would go to settings, face ID, and passcode, and then down to unlock with Apple Watch. If you just toggle that on and off, or I mean, I'm sorry, if you toggle it off and on, because it's probably already on since you're trying to use it, um, then it'll help. Um, I have had no issues ever since I toggled it off and then back on and then just used it and put a mask on and it seemed to work well and it worked it worked really well for the one other person that i know is uh, also using public beta um so that's the the kind of fix until they get it uh figured out and working right again is just toggle that feature off and back on um something else i just want to point out which um some people probably already know this but if you wish to remove uh, the beta profile from your phone like or iPad if you just feel like maybe you just don't want to deal with bugs anymore or something or you, for whatever reason you want to go back to non-beta software um, you just go to settings and then you go to general and then down to profile and then you click on the profile and then um, you have the option to remove the profile so you can just uh, remove it there. And then you just wait for non-beta software to be available and then you can just in install it and everything will be back to the way it was before. Or, and then you can always um, join back and be back in the public beta. So hopefully that made sense. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Stop recording video.